What is up, everybody? It's easy. Easy Street Gaming. That is the big question. Will Red Panda Poe compare to Green? We know Green's going to be an elite partner. Everyone's everyone's going to have a chance to get Red with a 30-day signing event. We still have people rolling in Panda. Not everyone got the 30 days in a row. But you can actually use 50 gems and actually get, uh, get a couple days back. Not sure how many they'll let you do. So, Red Panda, two out of the three, two out of his three skills are pretty much identical to Green. The only difference is his second skill, he, he has, I don't even know the name of it because I don't have my glasses on, but it's basically Enduring Healing, plus he gets a random buff for himself. And just, just remember, whenever you get a random buff or a random debuff, those can be pretty incredible. Uh, it can be anything. So he can get the best buff in the game. Which I don't know what the best buff is. It's got to be some kind of invincibility. Along with Enduring Healing for the whole team. So he, he's got a team heal. Where Green has a team attack. And if you've noticed, uh, if you were watching some of the... Um, you know, I got to see Green Panda during the Partner Arena. I, I know a lot of people did. And if you're watching Partner Arena, watching Green Panda, he was pretty strong... The, but the team attack wasn't really impressive. It, it's, it's nothing like the Reaper cometh from the Green Scarecrow or anything like that. But the triple attack is is where he is where his strength is. It's a one shot kill type of attack. Once you get his, uh, once you upgrade him and max him out, and if you have the right war patterns on him, war patterns, high hit point. Also, he's a slow partner. Even with high speed, he's still not really. Um, exchange and blow is one for one so there's a few things that I think you're gonna have to do in order to get him up to par as far as speed goes one is you're gonna have to have speed in the left hand uh, a lot of you are gonna probably want to simplify by just using cat war pattern uh, I know that you can get speed up pretty high without cat if you get the speed in the second as, as a second attribute on all the war patterns uh, but I decided to use cat and if you look, because hit point is also so big, two of his attacks are based on his own max hit point. You really want to get hit point as a second attribute and try to get that as high as possible too. So if it starts off at 5, you can probably get it to 10 by the second or third upgrade. A lot of different possibilities though. You can use cat and hippo. You can use cat and whale. You can use hippo all six. You can use hippo and whale. You can use whale and whale. And really, speed is just something that I think he needs because he can't keep up with most of the other partners. But hit point is definitely the the main focus. And I believe you you really want him to to, to get off critical attacks, especially during the triple attack. So you're gonna have to try to get critical rate and critical rate damage as well. Now, what, what time will tell how important critical rate and critical rate damage will be. Hopefully I'm not dead wrong on everything. <laughs> now, this is the elite ranked matches, and what I've done is I put in Panda on the on some of the opening rounds. So, you know, sometimes you match up with players that have that have already quit and they're very low ranking uh, partners. But I wanted to get a, have everyone take a look at Panda long before he's maxed out. I believe he's at level 30 or something, so he's not even maxed for the first, uh, for a five star. Never mind a six star. And now I didn't take out all my other partners, so you, so just pandas in there, so he's not going to even get many shots in. I, I know. Now that was the bamboo shot, the bamboo throw. Remember, the bamboo throw is pretty effective for panda himself. He'll not only damage the other team; it's a it's a one verse one attack, but he also heals himself quite a bit. So he's healing himself on that attack. He, his second skill is a is a heal for the whole team. Enduring healing plus a buff for himself. Now we have Panda vs Panda. I find a couple guys in my server, so I, I always like to spy against the guys in my server if I can. It's always a respectful thing. I would always suggest doing the same because, uh, especially if they're good players, you take the loss if they're way better than you, because then you can see what they're doing. Then you can talk to them about how, what they did to their partners. They may be able to give you some pointers. Remember, this game is not a solo event all the time. 
if you're in a clan with people that care then you, you talk to them they'll help you with all this stuff I know that in my clan I'm not the best player uh, I have players that started after me that may have been inspired by what I what I do on YouTube and have already surpassed my skill level so it's amazing what people can do it really is and ranked matches use Panda Po red to pressure green teams he's he's pretty strong against green you want to try to get the triple shot the triple attack to a one shot capability you can get him to one shot capability I've seen it in the partner arena and also and this is going to be a really important factor use other partners that have that can speed up the action bar and that will help Panda Po speed up the action bar now you see right there he did the triple attack he didn't even come close to taking out the, the green demon killer but that will change as he gets goes up in level I think already now after, after since I've made the video I've, I've played with him quite a bit and I think already now he can probably almost do twice that damage so he, his damage gets pretty big pretty fast I think right now his bonus hit points is at 12,000 I think he can go all the way I, I think he's gonna gonna be kind of like one of the nomads where he can get up to like 20,000 bonus hit points not quite sure yet but you notice every time he throws the bamboo he's also healing himself so a pretty effective partner I don't know if you can say he's better than green or 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 if you can say that green is just better than him because now I, I was gonna look at that and see what it was he got the thumbs up it's, I, I believe that I just don't even know what that is <laughs> I don't even try to the other p partners around panda stun team you'll hear a lot about the new slow team that's with the green nomad and panda po may fit in very very well with the slow team also leader skill his leader skill is a unique one we've never seen this before in brutal age it it, it gives 100% plus 100% attack in adventure stages and you know that might just be a commodity that may not interest anyone but there's actually a pretty good use for it and we'll get into that in a few minutes okay for now substats this is something that I've talked about in, in past videos we'll touch up on it again because Panda Po has a it's really important to, to hit all the substats and um, I'll, I'll key into a conversation that I had uh, yesterday with uh, Andy someone from the clan he was talking about something he does that is exactly what I do he actually upgrades all of his war patterns to level 12 all the way to all the way to purple and at level 12 he will make a decision on whether or not he'll keep it or not it may sound a little uh, excessive but at level 12 you'll see all of the attributes on the war pattern and you'll know if it's if it's really good or not uh, you may think it's good at first it starts off with attack percentage and you get a uh, hit point percentage and then the next one is plus defense the next one after that is plus attack and they're both kind of s small numbers then the last one is uh, you know uh, plus hit and it's just n nothing you need you get it to level 12 it's a strong war pattern to a certain extent but it's nothing that you really need for that particular partner we have a lot of partners that have to have very um, specific substats find out what they are on all of your partners and make sure you have them in your war patterns even if you have to dump the war pattern at level 12 it's worth doing that it's better to do that than to upgrade it to level 15 because at 15 all that you're doing is increasing the first stat a lot so you're not going to improve any of the other stats so you're not going to get it any better as far as these substats so look at the substats pay close attention to them I'm trying to sell all war patterns that don't have three stats on them to begin with and again it may sound excessive and look at panda plus a hundred percent attack he takes out the kitty <laughs> and all the all the red partners will be stronger plus a hundred percent attack in adventure now what that really means I forget if I just dropped the last uh, thought process just dropped right off what that really means for you is that you may be able to max out panda at level 35 and then run panda as a leader through adventure with three fresh three stars 
and Panda will be able to carry the three stars and this will allow you to upgrade three at a time a lot of times you'll have to use two fairly well upgraded partners with two new up two new three stars to get them through adventure but there are certain partners that you can that will carry your team uh, green green demon killer is one that was really good at it at level 35 he can pretty much carry the whole team well panda po is another one that he's got that plus 100 percent in adventure i believe it's on all three colors uh, they're all specific to their own color. So red does red, blue does blue, green does green. So that this is a good opportunity to use the strength of Panda Po in Adventure. But definitely don't just put him in Adventure. He may be an elite partner. We may see green and red. We may have use for them in ranked matches, in the duels. Uh, remember, they both have the triple, the raging triple attack. It has one shot knockout capabilities. Uh, we have red as a healer and we have green as a team attacker blue has this weird sleep skill which i don't know exactly what that's going to help you with but who knows uh, red and green seem like they have a pretty useful skills uh, maybe sleep it does have like a bunch of different uh it's got a couple other buffs and a couple debuffs all at once so it's a pretty buffy debuffy thing so panda po probably the most unique five-star partner in the game at this point it's the first time that they've ever given away a five-star partner to pretty much everybody so we're gonna have a lot of different examples a lot of people are gonna have it you'll have one too if you've been keeping up with the 30-day sign-in thing make sure you dress them right hope you guys enjoyed the video I said last video that this one was gonna be the last of the three stars I lied son of a bitch I lied but next video actually will be. I had to throw Panda Po in. Because we're all getting it. Thank you for watching. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate everyone. Till next time. It's been easy. Take care everybody.